What's up folks? We're here out of the beach today, out of St. George Island again today. It's going to be a little windy, so the camera might be a little shaky. We've already got one bite on this rod over here. Um, we're kind of fishing this kind of a gut right here. And it's kind of like there's a land bar kind of coming out right here. Tide's super low. It's supposed to be coming in. Wind's supposed to die down. It's looking like it shapes up to be a better day than it was the past few weeks. So let's get right to it. I'm finding them. Here, I'm going to use you as a temporary. Oh, oh. Here, just give me that. Yeah, I'll just hold. I'll let you. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. That's a pompano. I'm caught up in your line. Pompano. Oh my lord. That's a good one. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at the size of him. Holy crap. Oh, he's nice. Can I drop my phone back there? Is that what I dropped? Yeah, I got it. Is it good? Yeah, it's fine. There you go. Well, no. Cool. Here. Oh. Oh, don't let him get away. <laughs> Here, hand me the rope. <laughs> there we go. There we go, guys. A little pompano on fish gum and shrimp. Here you go, guys. He's probably legal, but we're gonna check anyways. Huh. I sprinted so fast. <laughs> 13 and a half. You wanna keep him? 11. Heck yeah, dude. Pompin oh uh, whiting. Nope. Yeah, whiting. I can't see it, so there you go. Give it a minute. There it goes. Yep. Thanks. Should have it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Put this phone up first. <laughs> That's a pompano.
There you go. <laughs> I think he's big enough, you think so? You think he's right, about the right size? I think so. Yeah. He's about the same size as all the other ones. Yeah, they're like perfect size today. There you go, guys. Oh, I just got another fish. Guys, another pompano. Another one. Come on. Another one! Yes! That's a donkey, holy crap! Guys, I am tired of running around already. Really? Whew. You think he's big enough too? That one I might actually measure to see. But no, I got hit on that one, there was nothing there. Then that one got hit and there was nothing there. Yeah, that's weird. I think those are whiting. Do you mind doing me a favor and moving the sand flea rake? Holy crap, guys. That's another pompano. Both these fish have been on a trip with plus fish gum. Well, that was stupid. 13 and a half. <laughs> guys, that was a double up right there. Yeah, here we go, guys. That's two right there, guys. We're on two pompano now. I've got a, I got myself a limit. Or no, we I got. A, we've had five fish, right? Yeah. Yeah, five fish. Sweet. Good yeah. <laughs> guys, huh, guys, we now have two pompano that I just caught back to back, but we've got five fish in total. All of them are about 13 inches to about almost 15 inches, maybe even one's 12. But just to show you guys what I've caught all my fish on so far is the fish gum, pomp candy strips. Um, these are actually really good. Honestly, I'm surprised they're staying on the current. Most times I've had issues with fish gum. That's why I actually kind of stopped using them, but I think they did a new formula in the past couple of years that they're actually a lot better now. Big fan of them. Uh, but yeah, let's keep catching some pompano. We are uh, doing too, we're doing pretty good, I feel like. For what for what it's been so far, but supposedly really good to put on the like a on like a grill and uh, put in some foil yep. and uh, kind of like just put like lemon zest a lot of that stuff. They're still they're dying still. Yep. Yeah. So what we do is we bleed them out because the fillets get whiter and so they don't have a really fishy taste to them. So what happens is we cut the gills. There's a really easy way to kill them. Either you put them right in their forehead or there's a spot underneath their gills that's a main vein that goes to the brain. If you cut that, it usually kills them pretty fast, but apparently pompano are a lot hardier. It is what it is, unfortunately. There's a, there's a, there's, a, yeah. There's a, there's a more humane way to do it called Ikejima. I don't know how to say it correctly, it's Japanese, but they have like this little needle that they stick straight in their forehead. Kills them almost instantly, which, they're probably already dead. They're just kind of having those, whatever they're called, yeah. Well, next time they'll know to get caught by a Japanese guy. Yeah. They yeah, they won't be a problem. <laughs> well, we're going to have plenty of fish for a while. Like, this is, like, more than enough almost. Oh, yeah, because one of those is more than enough for my family of three. Yeah, you're going to have some fish in the freezer. Oh, that's a bite. That's a pompano.
That might be a whiting. Holy crap. Oh my lord. Not the target species, but am I mad about a whiting? No, especially of that size. Ah. Whiting, it's a good size one. Thirteen. Keep them. Did you want one? You just want them? Yeah. I don't want them. <laughs> it's helping a good size that I can fry. Fry out. hole? Yeah. Honestly, I think anywhere in this deep pocket's gonna be good. I think in those last couple bites I had must have been whitey. Yeah. They didn't stick on. Well, I had two two pompano for sure. And they didn't stay on very well, but they were fighting much harder. Oh, that is a whiting. Ah! Oh, oh shoot! Oh, dang! <laughs> Tighten the drag. Oh, Pompano! I'm waiting for my rods to go off now. Uh, another keeper. Yeah. He fought too. He's big. Yeah. Good lord. I want to measure him. He may be up. Well, well, That's a stud. There is no this? slot. There you can no keep slot. any you can keep any size over oh, okay. 11 here. Grab the tail. Oh, I got it. it. Yep. I'm going to go measure him real yeah, quick. Yeah, go measure him. See what he is. <laughs> <laughs> Not my shoes. <laughs> They're just <laughs> The is going to smell those real good. Fifteen. That's the biggest one so far. Heck yeah, guys. That would be yours. I'm gonna wash my hands off. Good lord. Oh dang! Gosh. Holy, you got it still? Good Lord. Holy crap. I'm throwing over here. That's a pump. <laughs> Another one, holy crap. You got it? Yeah. yeah, I'm watching.
Which one? It's a pompano. Get it guided in. I think that one's over this line. Oh my lord. This is a stud. Go underneath me. Yep. There we go. Holy crap. That's big. I feel like they're all big. There is something on this one. You got it? Go ahead. Yeah, that's way down the beach. Holy crap. Here, yeah. Trade. Another pompano. Whew. Holy crap, that was a double up. <laughs> All right, guys. Look at that. We got a 13 right here and we've got a 15 right here. So this is Pompano number eight and nine, right? Yep. Pompano number eight and nine. We were like, oh, let's call it at eight. And I said, watch us catch one more past eight. And lo and behold, we got two Pompano right here. We're actually, this isn't technically a limit, but we could definitely catch a limit today. But I don't think we're gonna catch a limit because we like to practice conservation. All right, guys, uh, we are probably wrapping up uh, just because we have nine Pompano that are all like 12 or more. So and even the 12 is more like a 13 as well. I'm going to go grab the bucket real quick. Uh, holy crap, it's heavy. There you go, guys. Bucket full of Pompano. We're going to take a quick picture of this on the beach do like a date picture because this is crazy we had a good day we are actually gonna call it before we even hit our limit we could probably catch a limit but we're calling it because this is gonna take a while to clean i'm cleaning it in the back of my truck so it's gonna take a minute so but all right guys actually before i end the video i just thought about this i should probably tell you guys what we did that caught fish so when we came up here we were looking for the spot that had the deepest water so if you look with me we were right in front of a big deep blue gullet and we have a sandbar that's kind of coming out from a point over here. And then there's another point over here. So we have a big deep hole right here. So what we've been doing is we've been throwing on the inside of the sandbar. And apparently that all the palm are just eating up some bait inside this little hole right here. So I've been running with mainly shrimp. We actually, I did uh, rake a couple of sand fleas, but to be honest, there's not a lot of consistent sand fleas here at St. George Island. Uh, so it's kind of tough, but We've caught most of our fish on frozen shrimp. We actually went to the bait shop today. They were out of live shrimp, which is weird. And uh, so we got some frozen shrimp. We were using a little bit of fish gum, mostly, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's how we caught most of our fish today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. God bless and fish fear me.